What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here, Cruise the Moose, Johnsburg, Illinois. Another beautiful Tuesday. Unfortunately, last week they had to cancel due to weather. Uh, but tonight, another beautiful night. We got a bunch of cars out here. We're going to get checking them out. It is Buick night, so I'll do my best to get what I can to the Buicks here. And then uh, we'll see what else showed up. So uh, let's get to it. Who do we have here and what did you bring tonight? My name is Bill Cowell. I brought this 69 Buick Wildcat. And what can you tell me about this particular car? Well, this car's got a 430 cube, 360 horse with a turbo high dramatic 400 transmission. It does not have posi, it's got an open rear end. And this thing is a driver is what you're saying? This is a driver. I've been to every one of the states in the Midwest. The farthest I went with it is Allentown, Pennsylvania. That was 800 miles one way. And we go to car shows all the time local. It's been up at the Wisconsin Dells a dozen times for the automation show. That's awesome. And is this a original or is this a restoration? Or what do you have going on? Well, it's a cosmetic restoration. It, it is in a body off. Uh, what I've done to the car since I've had it is I put a new vinyl top on, it's had a new windshield, the door sills, upgraded the tires, the bumper's been pulled off and re-chromed. Uh, every year I try to do a little something to improve the looks, but I also do stuff to keep it on the road. That's awesome, that's awesome. Well, Bill, I appreciate you coming out and bringing this beautiful car. Hopefully we can see more of it again next year or throughout the year. And again, thanks again for bringing it out. Okay, thank you.
Hey, my name is Ethan Bocek. Uh, this is my 1990 Volvo 240 with a uh, six-liter LS and a turbo. So, can you tell me a little bit about the motor combo? Why you went with this? Yeah. So it's a uh, technically it's a um, LQ4, so a six-liter iron block motor out of a Chevy Express van. Um, main reason for it is they're a lot cheaper than doing an actual LS and with the iron block and the turbo, just a little more assurance, you know, with boost. The whole car weighs about 3,100 pounds, so to me it's still relatively light, so it was worth it versus spending money on an actual LS. Um, but as for the setup, it's the uh, stock bottom end, so crank, rod, and pistons are all factory LQ4. Um, has a different cam. Uh, it's what they call the sloppy stage two. It's an LG performance cam uh, pack racing springs heads are stock minus the springs and then I upgraded and refreshed the valves and retainers all that stuff it's, uh, LS9 head gaskets um, LS7 lifters and lifter trays hardened push rods um, Trailblazer SS intake has Detka 80 pound injectors uh, war performance 92 millimeter throttle body uh, it's a Treadstone, four and a half inch intercooler, Eastwood radiator, Chevy Sonic RS fan that we pulled off of another car. Um, and then the turbo is a VS Racing 7875. Four and a half inch to, or four an inch to three inch exhaust all the way out the back. Uh, it's at about 10 pounds, 10 to 11 pounds of boost, making about 550 to the tire. There, the Trans is a uh, AR5 out of a Chevy Colorado. And then it's a 4L60 bell housing, adapter plate, and the AR5 Trans. And then for the clutch and flywheel, it's a, uh, I think it's a Z06 Corvette clutch and flywheel. That's what we ran for it, so. And rear end? Rear end is a stock Dana 30 Volvo end with a welded diff. That will be swapped to a 488, um, and well as the trans will be switched over to a T56 eventually. Suspension-wise, is going to be it's a BC Racing coilovers, front and rear. Um, IPD is the big Volvo performance company. Um, some poly bushings here and there. That's another thing I'm refreshing. Tires, I got a set of um, Toyo Proxy R888Rs. Uh, they're six, or 245, 45, 16s on all four corners more kind of track-esque setup, but I didn't want to do slicks. I wanted something that would grip and I could still drive in the rain with. So. Very cool. Yeah. Now, have you drag raced it or tracked it or is it just a cruiser? Right now, it's just a street car. I haven't, I haven't done anything yet. I want to take it to Great Lakes um, after I do the rear end swap because I really don't know how well this one would take launching it. But after that's in there, I do want to see what I'll run, you know, on a quarter. I just built it because I wanted something you don't see. I wanted an LS with a turbo. I always wanted a V8 and a turbo. And uh, wanted something you don't see at car shows. So, pick a Volvo. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Talking to me and bringing the car out. As uh, we've talked before, I love the car. Thank you. I, think I appreciate it's very, it. Very, very neat. Uh, I'm kind of jealous of uh, I've been <laughs> one for a while. But, uh, very neat, very neat. Thank you. Uh, thanks again for taking the time. Not a problem. Have a good one.